JCPS parents are worried about the fallout from cutting JCPS magnet school transportation. It is an idea that the district's considering to address its long bus delays. And there's concern about what that would mean for student athletes and kids in career pathways. WDRB's Valerie Chin explains there are still more questions than answers. And I'm simply a teacher advocating for my students. Our students at Central High School need to be bused. Teachers and parents speaking out as the JCPS board considers what to do about busing for the next school year. They have concerns about students making a change in the middle of completing a career pathway. We have students in the middle school and high school that need to be considered who have already started their path to development in regards to what they're going to do in the rest of their lives. JCPS officials presented three plans to the board, but say cutting magnet traditional schools transportation is the best option. But parents like Frances Souls bring up other issues they want the board to consider. Her son Isaac Spike Souls will be a senior football player at Mill High School next year. She worries about student athletes who will have to transfer to other high schools because they don't have a bus. Has KHSAA agreed to grant immediate eligibility to the thousands of kids who by rule would no longer be eligible to play sports because they have changed schools. In addition to this, has agreements been made with KHSAA to immediately reclassify all sports that male enrollments define class, schools such as male, manual, central. KHSAA officials tell WDRB that JCPS has been talking with them and as it stands now, students who play varsity sports for a year and transfer will have to sit out a year. But there can be exceptions including Board of Education actions that mandate a change in schools. That would require extra steps for both JCPS and KHSAA. But until a busing decision is made, JCPS says it doesn't have answers to the questions about athletics or student pathways. The lack of opportunity for transition readiness. We're working very hard right now with our juniors and seniors to get them ready for the next level. And I feel like they're going to be incomplete pathway people. With photojournalist Frank Stamper, Valerie Chen, WDRB News.